Hi there and welcome to the video. Hello. Um, quick bit of background before we get into this. We sold a brand new £300 headlight for a car. The buyer received it, told us it had arrived in perfect condition and he was really happy, left us positive feedback. Yep. He then went on to tell us he had taken it to his mechanic, he had had it fitted on his car, he had driven it around for a while and then he noticed it had let water in. Mm. So he opened up a return because he then claimed it was faulty. Yeah. And that's where the story begins. Yeah. And the return was auto accepted, so we didn't get a chance to sort of talk to him about it at all. It was coming back whatever. Yeah, so that's where you're going to join this story when we received it back and then you'll see us as we go through the whole procedure with eBay to see what support they give us in contesting this return. It's certainly the box that I sent out. Okay. So we've just brought up the, the original listing and looked at all the pictures just to check that it is the same unit. And it certainly is the same unit. The way these stickers are positioned and you know, there's the stuff that you can tell it's exactly the same unit. Yeah. Where this green sticker is, the angle of that, it's all absolutely identical. So we're not disputing this is the unit. There's, there's not been a switcheroo send back a faulty one. Yeah. That's out of the question. But here is the problem. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it, the unit is cracked. So you can see the crack starts here, runs all the way around the back, and this hole fitting mount is loose and there's a crack right through there into the into the inside of the light there you go and that clearly shows in the pictures that we've got that there was no crack before it was sent so that has happened either when it's been fitted or after so i feel kind of confident that we're going to be backed by eBay, but I don't know. I, mm. I really don't know. Um, it's about a return that we've had back. Um, we sent out a brand new headlight. What we've received back has a great big crack on the casing. So oh, no. the item has been damaged. Um, well, let me explain. The buyer received the item. He said he was very happy. Um, with it, he gave us positive feedback. He's then had the item fitted on the car and subsequently it has allowed water to get inside. So it's, you know, it's damaged. And so he sent it back. But as I just explained, there's a great big crack on the casing. Uh, so I'm not accepting the return and I'd like to know how we proceed. So when you say partial refund, can I just not refund at all? Because I have now got a, a, an item which is worth nothing. All I can do is refund 50%. So I have to lose £150 because he's damaged my item and sent it back. Is that what you're telling me? That doesn't seem fair, does it? Because it's been sent back in a completely different condition. It's damaged, um, it's now not usable, and you're telling me I have to lose £150. Wow. Is there anyone else we can speak to? Okay, so we're on hold, um, so hopefully you heard. As far as she's concerned, the, the best thing for us to do is to um, refund him half the money, which in this case would mean we lose 150 pounds. And there seemed no wiggle room in that at all. So I've asked to speak to somebody else, and, and, and I'm gonna 
put my case forward that I don't think I should have to accept any loss in this case because they have clearly damaged the item that was brand new when it was sent out. We've got pictures that show the crack isn't there, etc. If they want to, if they want proof, um, so we'll see. I'm okay, thank you. Yes, we sold a headlight for a car. It was a brand new item from the factory and he's returned it with a great big crack, which is why it's let water in. Um, so I don't want to refund him. Uh, we received it back yesterday. Yeah, I understand that. I, I, I don't accept that we have to lose £150. He, he has given us positive feedback. He was perfectly happy with the item. It was ar arrived in perfect condition. We shouldn't have okay. to, we shouldn't have to refund 150. I don't think we should have to refund anything. He's damaged it and he's sent it back and he's trying to make it our problem. Okay, so I've got to physically take a form to a police station and get them to, to look at it, yeah, and stamp it. Okay, cheers, bye now. So yeah, a few hoops to jump through, but hopefully at the end of it, they will back us and we won't have to lose the 300 pounds. So we have form, well, that's the instructions and then this part is what they will have to fill in. So next step is take a trip to the police station. Okay, that is not happening. There is no front counter service. So I've just wasted a trip to Letchworth because there's no desk, there's nobody to speak to here. Hitchin station is the same. So I guess the next option is Stevenage. Right, I'm now at Stevenage station, just waiting for somebody to turn up. So I've spoken to somebody and the lady I spoke to doesn't think that the police should have to get involved. So she's gone to speak to somebody. No. They wouldn't give me a stamp, they wouldn't give me a signature, they wouldn't fill it in. They've given me a leaflet to ring action fraud, but they said they're not prepared to treat this as a crime. So I can't at this moment in time provide eBay with what they want me to provide. I'll try this action fraud phone number and email and see how we get on with that but it's not looking good at the minute. Last night in between uh, visiting the police uh, station yesterday and the one we're going to try today we thought we would we would try this action for fraud thing and kind of opened a, a report on there and we sent that through. Uh, we had a reply from eBay based on that saying no this isn't good enough you need to go back to the police station and get someone to fill it in. So I'm not going back to that same police station because they were very adamant that they weren't, it, it wasn't a police matter. We are going to try a different police station, which means we've got to take more time out of our day. Uh, the next nearest one, I believe, is Luton to try and get a police officer to write on a piece of paper. It just seems nuts at the moment and the police aren't interested. It just all seems a bit crazy. Anyway, we're gonna hop in the car now and go over and see if somebody at Luton Police Station uh, will entertain filling in this form for us. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so we've made it to Luton Police Station. So uh, fingers crossed we get a better reception here and uh, they can help us out. Thank you. 
this is a civil matter. Yes, yeah. we, we understand can't, that. We can't interfere or yeah. endorse documents. So we've actually filed a form, uh, a report with Action Fraud. Yeah. yeah. eBay won't accept that. Look, What's the that, form they're giving you? Look at this. Well, you read it. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They're basically saying it's a police matter, and it, we, we know it's not. Well, it's not. It's um, a civil matter, yeah. so we wouldn't be... I know, I know. Is it possible that you could write on there that you, you it's I not a police matter? Refused because it's a civil matter. Could, could you put a, a, a stamp to say that we've been here? Yeah. I know how ridiculous this is. We feel like we're banging our heads against a brick wall. Yeah. That's what she was telling you to tell the police. Because they actually told us to come back, because we went to Stevenage and we got told exactly the same thing. Yeah. I said, go back. I said, what, and tell them to do, how to do their job? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So hopefully you heard some of that, and that's exactly what I expected to happen. That's basically what I was told at the last police station I went to. It's not a police matter, it's a civil matter. They're not interested. And eBay are completely out of touch. So... We are no further, at least I got this chap um, to, to write on the form and explain that it's a civil matter and he's put the police station stamp on. Yeah. So eBay can now see we've been here and they've refused to look into the matter. Hopefully eBay will now, I don't know, move it forward. Who knows, it's just, Prob probably just not, I ridiculous. would say, probably not. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, it's now the next day. eBay have replied to us sending them the form. Um, so eBay have now emailed us back and they have said, I really appreciate that you have been to a police station and got the document stamped and noticed that the police station contact number and crime reference number is missing on the document. Yes, because he wrote clearly on it that they've refused to look into the matter. I would kindly request that you fill the required details and get back to us again with a screenshot. So they are not accepting that the police will not treat this as a crime that they can look at. This is an absolute farce. This is not a police matter. This is a business transaction gone wrong. And anyway, we're going to ring them up and hopefully share that call with you now and we've been asked to print off a form and take it to a police station i don't know if you're aware of those procedures i know yes thank you very much this is positive he understands that this, the police form, is ridiculous. Um, hopefully he's got the power to kind of push this through and, and get them to see sense. We'll see. Hello. Yes, we've been to two different police stations and spoken to several people. Um, this is not a police matter. It's, uh, they've, they've told us to um, contact Action Fraud, which we did, and we submitted that report that we've created. But as for getting this form filled in with a crime number, which is what you're asking, the police are not interested. They are not treating it as a crime. It's a civil matter. We have the form stamped at a police station and he wrote on it refused because it is a civil matter not a police matter so I do have a form with a police stamp on it we have reported it to them and they're not interested yes and I had I had a reply saying I've checked the document and noticed that the police station contact number and crime reference number is missing. I would kindly request that you fill in the required details and get back to us. So, <laughs> I 
I, oh, I, don't, I don't know what to say now. No. Your guess is as good as mine as to what happens next. It's the blind leading the blind. eBay, if you're watching this video, please take note of, you know, how ridiculous this is. Right, so how did you get on? We have sent through the action fraud case that we've opened, which has, has a, a reference, which has a reference number on. So, so what you want me to write that on this piece of paper, and the and the phone number of the police station. Okay, so the same piece of paper that they stamped, you want me to write those two numbers on, and then we're good. And then submit it again, and then that's done, is it? And then we're good. Okay, we'll try that and see if that helps then. All right, cheers, bye. That is absolutely ridiculous. So now they want us to put the action fraud which we've already sent them number yeah. on this, yeah, which we sent them, and got. the phone number of Luton Police Station, mm -hmm. and apparently that makes it all good. Mm. That's fine. Then they can process the case. It feels like we're just being made to jump through hoops and they have a tick box system at their end. Yeah. I feel like I could make up a number right now yeah. and put it in this box wherever. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting angry at this now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's absolutely well, ridiculous. This might be the end of it. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We will come back to you. So as you would have seen, we were advised to send in that paperwork and that would be all good. That's what we need to do. So we jumped through those hoops. We sent in that paperwork. So we have heard back from eBay with their decision now and they have ruled in the favor of the buyer. The buyer gets his 300 pounds. Everything we have just done was a complete and utter waste of time. Let me read you the message. Hello, Nick. I understand how incredibly frustrating it must be when a buyer doesn't return an item in the exact condition it was sent out. I would like to share that when a buyer sends an item back to a seller, they are entitled to a full refund. So black and white, doesn't matter the condition it's in, they get a full refund. This is because, it goes on to say, they are out of pocket for both the item and the payment. I get that. So are we. But they have <laughs> smashed the item and send it, sent it back. There has to be a line somewhere where you can't just get an item, smash it to bits and send it back and go, oh well, I'll get my money back, regardless. Anyway, then they go on to say, kindly accept our sincere apology for any previous miscommunication regarding refund of this transaction. Basically what they told us yesterday was rubbish. We were never going to get a refund. As we are the selling platform, they go on to say, we are not in a position to be able to determine the condition of this. So the item, so they're not taking our word for it, but it shouldn't Even matter. Even have photographic evidence. Yeah, but it doesn't matter anyway. They've just told us it doesn't matter what condition it's in. They're getting their refund. And although we completely believe the buyer may have used this, the item, it would not be something we can cover. When selling on any platform, there are risks where potential damage may be caused. Therefore, I would always advise our sellers to have a profit and loss margin built into their sales plan. They go on to say this, which is bizarre. In this situation, the best resolution is to relist the item and try to sell it again to compensate the loss. Have they listened to a word we've said? This is a headlight that is smashed and leaking water. Unsafe, right? They want me to resell that. So there you go. So we are going to ring them and just find out why or just have a chat really and see what they've got to say. It feels like nobody at any point has asked for the details of what actually went on. We just got involved with having to visit police stations and trying to get paperwork filled in which was totally irrelevant and I spent so much time and effort and petrol dri driving around the county for nothing. Never have we had a discussion about what's actually happened with the item. And, and, you know, we accept lots of returns, we accept lots of refunds. 
this was a cut and dried, it's not our problem. And I'm, yeah. I'm just gobsmacked that we haven't been listened to. We, this so-called seller support thing we have now is a farce, is how I feel at the moment. Yeah. Nobody has listened to a word we've said. And, and they just sent us on this wild goose chase to get a police officer to fill in the form. And they, they looked at us like we were crazy. And our appeal has been thrown out. I have no idea why. It's not faulty, they've damaged it. Well, it's faulty now. So a buyer, a buyer is entitled to receive an item and smash it and send it back and that's fine. Um, yes, you can, because the, the buyer sent us an email when he received it through eBay saying that he's received it um, and it's perfect and he's more than happy and he's going to take it to an auto mechanic to fit it. So you are saying then that the buyer is perfectly fine to receive an item break it and send it back and that's my problem. Yes? They received the item in perfect condition, as the buyer stated, and then their mechanic has, has, has broken it. Yeah, so I, I don't think we should have to refund anything. Okay. We, we, um, we have fulfilled our, our duty by getting the item to them and he says, yes, I've got it and I'm happy. But it, but it's in a different, it's in a different state to what it was sent out in. It is now useless. Okay, well let's do that. Then. Let, okay, let's do the partial then. How much do I have to refund them then? Right, well the, none of that was made aware to me beforehand. Can you see the situation I'm in? Now I've got, Sorry? can you see the situation I'm in? I wasn't aware of that, that was never said before. Because we weren't advised, we, we had a chat with somebody and I, and I explained the whole situation and they said, well you can appeal it. And I said, okay, let's do that. Never was it said that we can't come back and just issue them half of the refund if you decide that's the case. They right. might as well have done, be because, hold on, because they've sent an item back that is absolutely useless. They have smashed the light. Wow. Can you see how crazy that is? Well, please help me then. How do I appeal this now then? So that's it, is it? You're washing your hands of it? You're done? You're not going to help me? Um, no. Can I make a complaint, please? I don't know. Who can I speak okay, to? Who can I speak to who's actually going to listen to me? Right, okay, so, so it is the case then, if, let's say I'm, I'm a buyer, and I, I buy a lot on eBay, I receive an item, and I, I've changed my mind, you know what, I, I want to send it back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to smash it up and send it back, that would be fine, yeah? Wow, that, that's really open to abuse by the buyers then, isn't it? Yeah, but you're telling me I can't do that now. It was never made aware to us that that was a, a one-time only offer 
Okay, so um, it's over then. I can't. There's nothing I can do. I, I've just got to throw this in the bin and lose three hundred pounds. Yeah. You you go on in the email from eBay to say maybe you could recoup some of the money by by reselling the item on eBay. So your actual recommendation to me is to sell a faulty headlight. So All right, thanks for your time. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so there we go. Um, according to that, what we were unaware of is that if a buyer, a buyer essentially can do whatever they like to an item and return it. We would have been okay if they'd sent back bricks, this guy's words, um, but because they sent back the actual item that they'd broken, they're fine. So, yeah, be aware if you're selling on eBay. Okay, so we need to wrap this up and kind of conclude. Um, where do we start? I'm frustrated that in the email we read to you a little while ago, it's black and white. The buyer can return an item in practically any condition and they'll get a full refund. Yeah. Why didn't they just say that? and not say, what you need to do is go traipsing off around the county with a pointless piece of paper. So if you're in this situation and you, you get to the point where they say, well, you can use your seller protection to offer 50% back, do that. Do it. Because yeah. on, on our experience and, and learning what we've learned here, you're not covered in any way and for any reason. Yeah. Now. We wanted to appeal this because in this instant, we had the, the message from the buyer to say he'd received it, he was happy with it, it was perfect. And then another communication from the buyer that explicitly said he'd taken it to a mechanic and had it fitted to his yeah. car and driven around with it. Despite all of that. Yeah, left the, positive feedback and we have photographic evidence that it was in, there was no crack on it when it left us. Mm. Um, and it's got a massive crack on it at the back now. So what we've learned is all of that is irrelevant, yeah. totally irrelevant. It doesn't matter what condition an item comes back, what the buyer chooses to do with it in the meantime, unless they return some bricks, <laughs> apparently. Um, so yeah, I, I am hoping that we're going to get an eBay representative on to have a, have a frank and open discussion about what are we actually covered for, mm. if anything. Yeah. And, you know, to explain why, I would love eBay to explain why this whole police form thing came into it. Yeah. It, was, it because... felt pointless when we were doing it. My concern with this and what I want you to take away from this and what I've certainly taken away from this is if that conversation is all right, the buyer has the rights to return whatever they like in any condition they like and they get all of their money back and you don't have a leg to stand on. Yeah. It was more about the principle than the money. Oh, absolutely. Totally. Yeah. And I still feel that we as sellers need to stand up for the rights of the sellers mm -hmm. um, and keep pushing back against it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, hopefully um, I'm going to try and get somebody from eBay to come on and chat with us and, and really yeah. bottom out where we stand on, on and, this whole And thing. I really want to have a conversation with someone from Trade and Standards and see if that's correct. Hmm. I really want to know if that really, truly, somebody can break an item in, in such a way. It just seems ridiculous. Yeah. OK, we're going to end it here. Um, let us know what you thought in the comments below. That will be an interesting read. And we'll see you soon. Yeah. Take care.